ladies and gentlemen, this is Benjamin. Ja what's what's that your? Use the mic. What's that your? Jamming beats. Jamming beats. It's longer than that. Oh, you've changed it. No, it's just jamming beats. Just jamming beats. Okay, I just think it's jamming beats. I go. All right, he's the ox guy in Streams of Joy. The team you guys always see online. The guy that always plays the auxiliary keyboard. Um, so today I'm just going to use the next few minutes to um, let's just share knowledge on um, what's the word, how he um, comes about his sound. He's he's very vast, very versatile with 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 skills, general embellishment. You know, he's, he's also a producer. So Benjamin, would you just um, tell people how long you've been in music? Okay, well, I've been in music now for a very long while. You know, I've been doing music since um, I was young. You know, we started in church, and we're still in church. You know, so... I'm not going to bust light in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. So, um, music has been like um, a thing of passion for me. You know, I have been doing music. I grew up doing music. My elder brother really influenced me, Jojo, you know in Presbyterian Church, that was where we started, you know, playing drums from drums, we started keyboard and then nice. went into production. Basically, we're just doing this thing for God. We love music and we love God, so yeah. All right, all right. All right. All right. All right. So would you just, um, I know you do a lot of, um, a lot of scenes. People know you, people know and love how, how well you, you, you do this whole auxiliary thing. So I would, I would like you to share what, what, at what makes you um, your 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 why you choose the tones you do when you do you know what what do you always have at the back of your mind whenever you select tones and then you just use like two or three minutes to show us how you come about those tones you know like you're setting up a patch from the start okay just for your fans out there to to have something to so basically how I you know generate my tones I listen to, you know, basically what the main keyboard is, is using at the time. Okay. You know, I listen to his sound. I listen to the kind of pad he's using at that time. I, I listen to the kind of grand piano. So from there, I know that he's using, if he's using um, grand piano, for, um, for example, I know I'm going straight to strings, or I know I'm going straight to pad, or I know I'm going straight to a bell, or okay, so basically, what you do is complement yes. at every point in time. Yes, basically. All right, so that that, that works. That works. Um, uh, it's not every time you have to do bell pad because, of course, it's not every time it's worship and, yes. and stuff. Yes. So I'm sure at some point you always you also have um, other crazy tones that because I hear you. I love when you when you're on on, on synth and all of that. But you see, um, a lot of people a lot of people mistake being an auxiliary player for freestyling. So can you tell people how to approach auxiliary play so that you don't become Solomon, you don't become noisy, and you don't go out of the music and be on your own, rather you complement the music? Can you, can you just um, okay, shed some light on that? Basically, it comes with maturity because when you're doing music, you know, you're working with a team, you're not just a solo artist. And yeah. even if you're a solo artist, there's always a structure for music. Mm, so I like that structure, guys. Structure, so, guys. Structure, very important. So basically, at every point in time, you are not you are not contributing um, stuff that will take the band off the music. Yeah. Number one goal is to get to deliver good music at all times. So basically, when you're playing auxiliary keyboard, you know this is my job. I am not just an extension outside yeah. the band or I am not also the lead of the band as well. Yeah, I am yeah. also a team of the band and my yeah. contribution brings a whole lot to the yeah, music. Yeah. So basically, I bring in my contribution when it's needed, you know, not too busy, less is more nowadays, you know, just for the music to sit down that sounds very, good. very well. Less is more, guys. Take note of that. Okay, so so we don't so waste time. A lot of people used to ask me, can you tell AJL to show me their patch, their, his patch? Can you ask um, what, what patch is the auxiliary keyboard is using? So let's just get straight to that. Just show people the basic patch. I'm going to, I'm going to segment them into, into let's say, um, three segments. What you use for African music, what you use for contemporary worship, and what you use for um, contemporary fast whatever. 
You know what I mean? Yes, I know. In church, most times we have African praise, we have normal Western. worship, and then we have Western music. God yes. bless you. That was what I was looking for. So let's just walk through. Um, I'll, I'll grab the GoPro now, so I can I can have you walk through um, your screen and see exactly what you what your setup is. So let's start with let's start work with if if you guys are doing worship, how do you set up your auxiliary keyboard? Okay. I believe this is the one you yeah, use. Yeah, yeah, this is the one I use. Yeah. So let's very... let's let's just walk through your tones. Okay. okay so basically. If I'm playing for a worship section, if I'm play, playing the worship section, I this is one of my go-to, you know, patch. There are a whole lot of sounds here. It's not just one. Basically, this is a string patch, solo string. So this is one of the strings I use. So as you can see, it solo strings violin as one and then we still have strings assemble as well um this one is for my strings line and then i have this crazy organ organ tone wheel it is also crazy for worship all right so that's 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 oh ooh, that sounds great man so that's what you use for these are your, these are like your go-to tones for worship right yes, for worship. can you go over that quickly again Okay. Strings, what, what ensemble we have, you? we have strings here, solo strings, mm. and we have assemble, and we still have some other synths um, under it. It's mm. like a hook synth to make it very harsh. Hook synth, wow, yeah. I like mm. Okay, okay, so could you walk us through what you use when you have to play African music? Okay, if I want to play African music. I use marimba. This is very, very, very crucial for my African. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> I hear in Hollywood. I hear in Hollywood pressing. <laughs> hey, look at that, man. Amazing, amazing. So for my African style music, I always use that. And then I use this for my heat. I will not forget orchestra heat. Check it out. Yeah, I always insist that he uses <laughs> yeah, orchestra heat. I'm, I'm always insisting on that. I won't let him go free. So this is this because is. it's very important to do that for syncopation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it brings yeah, that punch. Yeah, very to important. Gives you that punch. Music. I like that. So, um, so if you were to play contemporary music, what 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 are your go-to tones? Yeah, I also have this brass section here for my contemporary. I still have this other synth. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you guys know that. Uh, that was all used for uh, uh, Fred Hammond's This yeah. is the Day, that interlude. Uh, makes sense. Because and this, this one is also one hash synth patch. The mix of brass, assemble, and then synth. Yeah, I have this synth here. Let me just bring it up. This one. Guys, this HPF, check it out. It's crazy for hash, hash strings and all. Yeah, these are my feeders. So there are some tunes I want to listen to at a time. I bring them up. The ones I don't want to hear at that time, I re also reduce. So I just merge them. And I have lead synths, the ones you hear and you go like... <laughs> you understand? I have this one. This is a sweet lead. You know, I still have this one. <laughs> I named this one JB Synth, JB Lead, JB Lead. It's just a combination of different kind of sweet lead sound. You know, we have single line too. You know, and some other, you know, mixes underneath. And this tune too, I like this one. Yeah, FM Synth Lead 1. Okay. 
So that works, guys. So who's next, guys? Uh, it was a pleasure talking to Jamin Beats. What's your YouTube channel? Benjamin Agbor. Benjamin Agbor. Okay, so guys, please follow him. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel, Coco Base TV. We're going to be bringing much more stuff like this, talking to a lot of um, musicians you look up to and, and, and like what they do and get to know how they achieve the things they do while, while they play on stage. Thank you guys very much. Do not forget to leave a comment, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be the first to see my next video. Until next time, bye-bye. My name is Coco Base.